Welcome back to the Boston Audio File. Today I want to talk briefly about this. This is a Weem Pro Plus. It's a streamer, a modestly priced streamer, but that's not the exciting thing. The exciting thing is what they call room tuning, which uh, comes with it. And the reason I put that in quotes is it can tune a lot more than the room. <laughs> I'll explain. So this is about, um, I paid 175 bucks for this on Amazon. And it might be a little more or less depending on the time. You um, previously, I had to, I hardwired my iPhone into this uh, Denifrips Aries uh, DAC. And that went into the Elikit, um I'd call it a quasi integrated amp. The only control it has is a volume control, and uh, that's it. So anytime I wanted to change the song or change the volume, I had to uh, physically walk over to my phone that was hardwired to the Denifrips and uh, adjust the vol adjust the um, the song or um, or the volume by turning the knob here. So the first thing that this gives you right away, aside from the, the it gives you wireless uh, streaming from your iPhone. And I think it only works with an iPhone, but I'm not sure. Um, so you can stream, you basically tell the Weem what to play wirelessly and it plays that. That's the easiest way to explain it. But it also gives you uh, this little remote control. So you have, um, you can adjust the volume, you can mute it, and in the app on the uh, Weem, the Weem app, you can adjust the balance. And that's been a big problem for me because my system ha has been left biased. In other words, the, the center image was always shifted a little left. And this allowed me to center it, move it to the right for the first time easily. <laughs> So that was a great plus. But the best thing, the thing I'm really excited about with this product is what they call room tuning. And what that is, it's it, you take your iPhone in your normal listening position and it plays some pink noise or something like pink noise and it plays a sweep um, from low to high, I think. Uh, you hear it, uh, the sweep go on and you use the, you hold your iPhone up like this and it uses the feedback it gets from the microphone and the iPhone to analyze what it's here, hear, what the phone is hearing at your listening position. And then it adjusts the frequency response accordingly to eliminate the effects of, uh, that the room has on it, to a, the room, what they call the room effects, but really it's, it's a, it's correcting for everything. It's correcting for the room effects. It's correcting for speaker frequency response, um, abnormalities, and it's also correcting for. This is a three hundred B tube amp, and it doesn't play per, perfectly flat with every speaker load, so it's also correcting for that. So it corrects for everything. And the sound transformation is, dr it's dramatic. And the thing, <laughs> you know, for 175 bucks, I think you're getting more change than you would with pretty much anything else you could do to your system. And, and it's an improvement overall. The, the only negative of the Weem that I, that I can think of is um, it doesn't have a USB output for the DAC. It only has the uh, you know optical output and this um, the coax. So I was using the coax into the Denifrips Aries two, and uh, I haven't had too much time to play around with this. And there's a ton of variables. Like if you do the room tuning, they say to hold the phone up. They they show it sort of like this, you know, in the pic in the little cartoon picture. Well. The button to start and stop the tones is here. They say, put it at ear level. Well, ear level, roughly speaking, is like the center of your nose. 
but they don't say how far forward or back. Now the iPhone that I have has microphones <laughs> at essentially, if this was an iPhone, it has microphones down here. It has a microphone here. It has a microphone in the back. They, so I don't know which microphone to be biased toward. I mean, the way the app is, they put the button down here. So it looks like you should hold it with the main microphones towards you, which seems a little odd. Uh, or I don't even know which microphone is dominant or if they're all working all the time. Uh, that's one thing. It, it's not clear exactly how to position it. It's not clear. They show it horizontal. They show it level like this and, you know, about like that, about a foot away maybe from the person's face. But why is it a foot away? Shouldn't it be closer to your ear? Um, then you have to be careful that your DAC is, has uh, the right polarity. And what volume level do you put your amp at? Do you, if you put it too high, that could cause problems. If you put it too low, that can cause problems. Um, what I'm getting at is I did a number of these room tunings and I get different results every time. Um, so you have to, they, they show you graphs of, of the, uh, the error and then the correction. And um, so sometimes I would do it and it would skew, um, the sound would be a little, the sound, it could sound a little different, but it always sounded better in some ways. And it's just remarkable what the sonic changes are. Um, you can you definitely hear more detail. Now that's not surprising. Anytime you change the frequency response of a system, you know you're you basically twiddle. You're going to hear some things are going to be more pronounced because they're they're louder. Certain frequencies are louder, and some things are going to be harder to hear because they're quieter. But it almost sounded like. The thing I didn't expect is it almost sounded like things were more coherent. Um, the tones were more natural. Now, maybe that's because it, a given instrument might have many um, frequencies. And you, when you play a note, a note, there's all sort of undertones and overtones and harmonics. Um, and getting those in relative balance makes them sound more like the instrument. You know, voices sounded better. Everything sounded better. Um, I, I don't know if I was, it had another effect that a little concerns me was that the, the imaging of everything was more similar than it used to be without this, because it's doing all this in the digital domain. Um, and I'm not, you know, I don't understand exactly what it's doing. It's to me, it, it's literally a black box. But all I'd say is this, I'm really enjoying my system. And, you know, the bass is punchier and cleaner. The, the, it, the imaging is, it, <laughs> it's just, you got to try it. If there's anything bothering you about your system, any kind of boominess or any kind of, uh, brightness or any kind of, uh, it, it, it does seem to have a profoundly positive effect on the sound of the system. And if you're listening to just, sometimes I'll just put on a YouTube video, I'll be listening to people talking or something. Even that um, sounds more natural. It's, it's, it's well worth listening to. I, I th can't get into a big long description of the sound, but it does change the sound. It is for the better. And uh, overall, though, I'm, I'm not 100% sure I'm not losing something by going through this digital processing. But I highly recommend buying it and trying it. If nothing else, if you don't have a streamer, like I did not have a streamer, you don't, you can sit comfortably in your listening chair and, and go from track to track, digital track to track. You can adjust the volume, you can adjust the balance or mute it all from the convenience of your listening chair, which if you have sort of old school gear like this style, this is not old, but the old school style amplifier, that's a huge convenience. Um, I, so I really, 
I can't think of any good, if, if you have an iPhone, if that's what you use, I can't think of any good reason not to try one of these. If you buy it on Amazon and you didn't like it, you could return it. It's a little tricky initially. It's easy to set it up with your Wi-Fi. It took me a little time to uh, figure out where the room tuning is in, in the app and whatnot, but um, it's not bad. Give it a try, highly recommended. Take care. Happy listening.